cut. Benji, the boom. Relax, I barely touched it. Literally can't afford to have any more accidents. Not that we've had many. Didn't Paulie fall off the ladder last week? No, technically he jumped. I bet that was a huge relief. Chris, haven't you heard of the phrase, think before you speak? I don't really believe in psychics. Let's just talk about the real issue here, okay? In that last scene, I only had one line. One. Look at me. That is not okay. A documentary. That's exciting. What's the point of it all? Yeah, I ask myself that every day. Okay. How are you feeling? I know. Numb. Hungry. Suffocated by student loans, I'll never be able to pay down. So the usual? Yeah. Don't forget your call with Miss Banks and the investors later. That's today. It'll be fine. Just try not to cry on the line again. You be ready to film soon? With these, they're crap, Emma. We'd literally be better off filming with the toaster. Well, you know that's the best we'll get. Since the fire, the studio won't give us nice things anymore. Um, can we maybe at least replace the lights that broke last week so we can, you know, light the scenes properly? I'll talk to Kyle. You called? Wow, you're so... Efficient? Sure. Thank you. So the lights? Oh yes, I have great news about them. Really? Great, are they here? No, but they're close. Well, I think they are. They're just not physically in the building yet. Oh God. Emma! 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 I have had enough, okay? I quit. No, Holly, you don't. Let's examine the situation shall we okay so louise gets to be the lead because you're scared she's going to spiral into one of her rage blackouts and chris just happens to be the son of our executive producer so of course he gets all of this screen time it's not fair okay people say i'm the next meryl you know who says that people holly will you stop losing your mind if i give you a monologue in the next episode you've written new episodes no Oh, so it's Adam's old material and it's terrible? Take it or leave it. Fine. I accept. Because I am a professional. Get out of my eyeline! So, this Adam guy, uh, he used to be Emma's fiance. He and Emma were brought onto the series as like a team. Adam, well, he was kind of a creep though. Uh, and he recently left Emma for another hey. woman. What? All right, everyone, let's go again. Damn it, Benji! Oh, don't worry. Boom's fine. So I just introduce myself. Right, um, I'm Emma Hunt, I'm series director and writer, kind of. Um, I've been lucky enough to make some decent films in my career. I've hit a bit of a creative wall lately though. <laughs> um, things are starting to look up. The project behind me is um, definitely a winner. Emma, I'm ready to film again. What? What, do I look bad? No, uh, you're totally fine. Ew, orange. Prepare yourself for a miracle. I'm, I'm on hold with Miss Banks. Can the miracle wait? No, it cannot. Besides, you're gonna love this. I have the solution to our problem. Which one? <laughs> well, you know how our current scripts are a flaming pile Louise, of Louise, I get it. Adam's old material is just so stale, okay? And I know that you've been struggling to write since he left you. Oh. That's why I wanted to gift you with my talent. My ideas, my brain. And there's no need to thank me. No need at all. Are you still there, Emma? I am, Miss Banks. Perfect, because I've got news. 
Good news. Don't be silly. Look, your show's cactus. Costs are through the roof. Nothing's on schedule. The investors have had enough. And I've got to be blunt. Is that not blunt? You need to deliver new scripts by the end of the week. If you don't, we're going to cancel the series. See, this is what I was talking about. Look, Miss Banks, I know things haven't been great lately. Talk about an understatement. Adam left us with material, though. No more excuses. You need to step up. Okay, so here's what I was thinking, all right? So we're in an aquarium, except all the fish have disappeared. And wait, it gets better. So I come in with a scuba dive on and just float constantly on the surface until all... So we're shutting down? No, it's fine. I have a plan. Yay, what is it? Tell them the aquarium idea. No, uh, but good question. The plan is TBD. Great. We're screwed. Did my mum say anything else on the phone? Maybe about me? Because she doesn't return to any of my 17 calls, which is fine, I'm just curious. Yeah, yeah, mum left me behind on set one day and I've been here ever since. It was her way of telling me to become involved in the family business. Like, this time when I was six, she forgot me at the playground. It was her way of trying to get me to make friends. And that's how I met my mates at Child Services. She's so thoughtful. Uh, look, I'll write new material, my best yet. Um, I'll map out a low budget season and stories can carry us. I can do this. You've started writing again? It's so great. Oh, well, uh, writing is a strong word. <laughs> yep, we're definitely screwed. I had better get to keep my monologue. Can anybody hear that? What's that whistling? Keep going, almost got the shot. Where the hell is it coming from? Dude, it's your nose. If you don't put it, you'll lose it again. Can no one else hear it? Louise, can we please get through? Not with that noise. Happens. You're the whistler. You're... <laughs> no, Louise, you can't use the boom as a weapon. Oh, Not again. Breathe through your damn mouth. How did I end up here? Actually, my fiancé wrote me into all of this. Well, ex-fiancé now. We initially planned to co-write the series together, but he preferred to work alone, so I gave him plenty of creative space. Probably a bit too much, though. He um, ended up leaving me for an actress that I cast on the show. Saw on their shared Instagram, they're currently in Greece. That makes me sound like I stalked them online. I mean, I definitely don't. Chris, um, please be careful with that. It's quite an expensive piece. You're always worried. It's not good for your soul, you know? Mm. Miss Banks, hi. Um, a meeting right now. I mean, if it's urgent, sure. Oh, crap. Uh, I'm. Ugh. With my sister? How dare you! Is that my line from Say Nate? Not now, Holly. Chris, can you hear me? Emma, two things. The lights, they still haven't arrived. And Mrs. Banks is on her way up. Quick, help me hide him. <laughs> Daya, stop filming and help me. Honestly, you're doing great. Don't even get me started on actors like Chris. They just get everything handed to them. I mean, like, yes, he's cute, but I am genuinely shocked he hasn't walked into oncoming traffic. Oh, wait, he did. Last year, he was in hospital for two months and we had to stop filming. It was super inconvenient for my career. Some people are just so selfish. My mum does not look happy. Wow, nothing gets past you, does it, Chris? Well, what is it, Benji? Kick your voice out. Remember that time? 
time that I accidentally heard all the execs' plans about the rest of the series? Yeah, okay, we get it. You're good at sound. Yeah, because I, I usually mic things up. Uh, lights, plants, office spaces. So you can hear us right now. I put a mic in Emma's office. She told you to stop doing that. Well, do you want to listen in or not? You used to write pretty damn well until that ex of yours turned you into a wreck. Where's my lighter? I wouldn't say I'm a wreck. Oh, well, you are. Relationships are bad news if you ask me. You need to be more of a loner, like Gabby here. Thank you, Miss Banks. Wait, what? The point is, without new material, we're dead. I need an ashtray. Oh. Uh, that's my coffee. I'll get the scripts. I I've got it under control, plus I've got a great team out there. They'll help me. <laughs> the same team that cost us $10,000 in damages. Well, $10,600. Well, that was a good meeting. I'll be sure to email you through the recap and... Mum, so nice to see you. Feels like it's been five months and three days. Here, hold this. Yeah? No? Call him. If he doesn't answer, fire him. Emma? I can't do this. Of course you can. And like you said, everyone out there will help. As if, Cabby, they hate me. Um, what's with all this orange stuff? Is that a Skittle? I only get orange ones when I'm desperate. Okay, stop with the floor candy. I'll go get you some real food. And maybe my therapist number. Oh God. The sound is so pristine. Shh. Benji. I see what you're doing. Get in here right now. Again, Benji? I mean, it's my job, no, it's so. Definitely not. All right. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. None of us hate you. You know that, right? I mean, Dia might, but she basically hates everyone. What I mean is, we've got your back. You're not in this alone. Late night? Yeah, I only cried once though. <laughs> I heard you finish the scripts. I also heard that they exceeded expectations. Apparently Miss Banks was even on the edge of her seat. Okay, fine, she didn't exactly say that. But she did mention that our funding's been approved. Well done! Somehow I didn't ruin everything. You just saved this show and you still managed to talk yourself down. You know, Adam always did that to you, but he's gone now and you don't have to put up with that anymore. You deserve better, Em. You always did. Everyone's out here, by the way. Really? They're early? Well, they heard that you backed them in the meeting with Miss Banks yesterday. You're right. They are a great team. Updated scenes. Oh, you used my idea. Not the aquarium one, though. This one worked better. 
Yeah, well, of course it did. Lines. I finally have lines. Meryl will be so proud. Hey, I heard the news. Congrats. Barely anyone can win my mum over. Yeah, I somehow pulled it off. Of course you did, Em. You can do anything. So you're into pottery? I am. I guess you could say I like pottery a lot. But I don't think I'm going to be able to fix this. Yeah. Geography's not my strong suit. Okay, everyone ready? Speeding. Rolling. Marker. Episode four, scene one, take one. Okay, action. <laughs> 